Hello, everyone. This is uh, quantum consciousness. So today I'm going to be doing, taking you into the in between. This is where we make our agreements. You got to know how you do that. It's like being responsible, accountable for your lives. So that's what we're going to be doing. Um, uh, while well, we're kind of waiting for some people to get here because this is going to be a good one. Uh, today, just a reminder, people, and I'll probably remind you again later, but today is the, um, we're going to be doing a uh, clearing on dark force interferences. And I'm so aware that this is a huge, huge interference and, and affecting people on many, many levels of their lives. So if you haven't signed up for that, I'd do it. A reminder too that you know, when you when you do get the paid clearings, if you buy them when they when they're available when we for, when we're doing them, even if you don't watch them, you're still saving five dollars. Okay, and if you bought ten videos, you'd save fifty dollars. So there is a savings because I know a lot of people do buy the videos. So I'm just going to encourage people to do that. So I just want to say a little bit more about the um, dark force thing. I mean, it isn't just you know like people think dark powers of darkness. They might think that that has to do with you know, just Lucifer stuff. No, it has to do with any kind of negative thoughts you have. You open up channels on the earth, all kinds of different things. All right. So today, quantum consciousness, who are you? And and I just want to say, you know, I keep telling people <laughs> there are no victims, all right? And yet, people are like, they can't understand, they can't grasp that. How can you not be a victim when, you know, you hear things or you've experienced things in your life where, you know, like as being a child or something and people hurt you, harm you, violate you, or, um, you know, people steal from you or, you know, there's all these different things that, of course, you know, if we want to just maintain mainstream consciousness without any awareness, then, of course, we're going to say, oh, yes, of course, you're a victim. You were victimized. Poor you. Poor me. And then also that feeling of, you know, the, the familiarity of being victimized. But basically, and I just want to give a little info on that. But today, just so you all know, we're going to go to the in-between. You, you need to realize you are doing things. You are making choices and decisions for your soul's evolution. So basically, everyone is a divine being. Everyone is, you know, a soul evolving. Okay, now how do we how do we evolve? We evolve the same way you evolve here, and you have life experiences. So maybe, you know, I remember this. This is one of my students. Um, we were at our, doing a ten day retreat, and two of my students. One of them, um, there was an attraction to someone, and the other student was judging her on that. I mean, not, nothing was happening that was going to happen, but in my world. It's like expose it, reveal it, dig in, find out what it's really going on, unravel it, and then it's over. Or it's a true, a true soul connection. But my student had this judgment she couldn't get over, you know, judging, judging. So, um, you know, uh, it's like we're, we're always judging people, but those judgments are also our doorway in to what's going on inside of us. So let's come back to the soul thing. So let's just say as a soul evolving, you know, you're, you're having experiences. And oh, my, let me back up with my student. What happened is, it's that realization that she's having a judgment and the waking up to that, the waking up to, you know, she's not being victimized, no one's being victimized, but that she called this in. And, and it was for her to know something much more deeply. And generally what happens when we, when we have a judgment of someone guaranteed we're going to find ourselves having an experience where we're now understanding what they went through because now we are having that experience okay so as souls evolving you are making agreements for on many many levels for many different kinds of uh, lessons and growth to expand in your consciousness part of what we're doing is waking up and with all of these direct experiences this is how we know creation, how we know God. God is everything. Creation is everything. There's no separation. And there, there is no judgment coming from the all that is, creation itself. We're the ones who have the judgments. We're the ones who get upset or angry or frustrated or hurt 
yeah, because things aren't going how we want or because we feel like we're being victimized or, you know, we're judging others or we're being judged. So bottom line is this. You are making agreements, full on agreements to have massive amount of experiences. You have your soul family and you reincarnate time and time again with your soul family. And you're making these agreements to, to, uh, with your co-creators so that you can literally know thyself in many, 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 many ways, okay? So people often say, well, why would, why would, oh, I like this one. Why would God punish me? You know, why am I being sent here to have these experiences? Okay, well, we're, you're gonna find out today. It wasn't nobody but you agreeing to have your experiences. So, you know, it's very disempowering when we, when we have these beliefs that something else is controlling our life. Some, someone else, some higher being, higher power, is controlling us and and manipulating us and causing us to be suffering. So people, part of consciousness and especially quantum consciousness is you got to wake up that you are literally co-creating your life for your soul's evolution. You can't. If I said to you, you know, gave you information about your life and how you need to live it, so to speak, or don't do that because if you do, this is going to have something bad's going to happen. You're not going to listen. You're going to, you know, think about this. How many times have people told you to not do something or to do something? And it's like, no, you have to do it yourself. It's direct experience is how we understand anything. It's that through having these direct experiences in our life that, that allows us to have more compassion, understanding, empathy, willingness, openness, heart opening, all of that. So if we don't have awareness, that we're not victims, then there's no, no change is going to happen. You know, you're going to keep hanging on to those beliefs that you're a victim. Okay. So bottom line is this, you've made these agreements, bottom line, you've agreed to have the experiences. Now herein lies <laughs> the problem, <laughs> just like anything you ain't when, when something <laughs> goes wrong or seemingly goes wrong and you don't really move through a lesson, you anchor it into your soul imprint, but mostly what's happening in is when you have an emotional reaction to something and you don't know that emotional reaction fully and then release the charge in the, in the energy field in your physical body, your emotional body, you're going to hang on to that. You're going to have conclusions and then you're going to recreate it again. So here, here's the problem. You've been doing the same old, same old for lifetimes, hundreds of lifetimes, most likely. Hundreds, not just a hundred, hundreds. Same old, same old, same old stuff over and over and over. You know, you kind of get caught in this loop. It's like the recycling loop. It's no different than what we call recycling in this lifetime with your emotions, okay? People, you know, they have an experience, they cry over it, and they think about it for years and years. Nothing ever changes. They're still crying over it, and they think they're doing their emotional work. Well, as long as you have a consciousness mind, you're thinking consciously, any thoughts, judgments, anything, you're not surrendering and knowing it fully. You can't know it when you're in your mind. Even though you might be feeling intense emotions, you're not releasing and unraveling. So whatever you have not released and known fully, known the experience fully in your past, it gets anchored in, so imprint, you reincarnate, you do it again. Okay, over and over and over. So it's time, people. We're, we're moving right into that. Well, we've already, you know, the, the energy frequency of the new paradigm is already here. We're not moved all the way into it. And yet, in order to move into that new paradigm, you can't be holding on to all of your, um, your wounding, you know, all that dark negative energy. It won't go through the veil into the lighter energy of the new paradigm. Okay, so just think of this. Your bodies are full of negativity. Okay, think about this. When you, when you have thoughts, are you finding fault? Do you find what's wrong? Are you expecting bad things to happen? Or is your heart open and no matter what's happening, you're in a sense of peace and joy? Okay, my sense is that's, you know, you might experience that, but I don't think you can hold it and keep it and maintain it. That's because there's still all this unconscious wounding, beliefs, conclusion, conclusions, programming still anchored in your subconscious. So 
one of the one cool way for you to really get it, to really understand that you are co-creator, that you've agreed to have certain experiences, is we're going to go to that in between. Okay, so the in between to help you really own and accept, and then soften into your experience. Because once you stop resisting what you you are experiencing, when that resistance to what is subsides, it's like you. When when you resistance literally comes up against the wall, okay? You can't push through it, but you're not surrendering to it. So you're not getting the lesson or the growth that's happening from that experience. So as you soften, because there's an acceptance and there's a total understanding that, oh, wow, I, I called this in. I wanted to know myself in these ways. Why? Why did I want to do that? Okay, so we're going to go find some answers. You're going to find the answers. I'm just going to be pulling you back into the in-between. We're not going into past lives. We're going to the in-between past lives, okay? It's that place where you've made agreements. So we're going to go directly where we make agreements. We're going to go right into the light of consciousness, pure awareness. Now, people, don't worry about seeing images. Don't worry about anything. Just, just keep softening. Keep surrendering. Listen to my voice. And just keep coming with me and you will get understanding. And, and if you, you know, this is going to be here, so you'll be able to listen to it again. So basically, you know, we want to get you to, to a place where you can really get and know directly that, oh, I am co-creator. And then we're going to see if we can't understand some of the, the, uh, the, the lessons that you're wanting, the growth that you're wanting from the experiences that you're having right now. Okay. All right, just on another note, people, I'm not um, answering questions right now, okay? I won't be answering questions. This is uh, a teaching and in a direct experience that you're going to have, okay? So basically, what I want everyone to do now is I want you just to go ahead and close your eyes. Just close your eyes, and then bring your awareness and be right behind your eyes. And now, as you're just being behind your eyes. I want you just to take a moment and I want you to feel into your own physical body. I want you to notice any agitations, any frequencies that aren't real comfortable, that don't feel good, okay? And then I also want you to start being aware of your life. So you've got themes, you have a certain theme, you might have several themes running, but basically, you have themes in your life. For some of you, it might, you, it might seemingly be finances, or maybe it's love, or maybe it's money, or, or maybe it's health, or you know, what, whatever your theme is, I want you to let that theme be there. Let the theme be there. Be aware. If you've got more than one, go ahead and just pull them all up, all your themes, okay? One of my themes for a lot of my life was fear of being visible, doing the work that I do, that I was gonna be ostracized, I was gonna be killed, I was gonna be shamed, humiliated, and that was all true in the past, so I had to clear that kind of stuff, okay? So that would have been a theme for me. What's your theme, okay? Now, when you think about your theme or themes, there's also an energy feeling, an energy reaction, an emotional reaction in your body. There's also mind thoughts, there's judgments, there's beliefs all attached to all of these. So all I want to do now is I just want you to light up your theme and light up the reactions to that. How is it making you feel? Like, for example, if it's money, not enough money, not enough wealth, not enough of receiving, how does that make you feel? You might feel sad. You might feel hopeless. You might feel despair. You might feel impotent. Whatever that is, I want you just to allow that to be. All right, now what we're doing is we're lighting energy up in your body so that when we go back in time, into the in-between time, we're gonna have that energy lit up, so that's what you're gonna be looking at, discovering, is this theme, okay? Now, you may be shown past lives, we don't know yet. We, I'm in the, always in the unknown, I never know what's gonna happen. I don't have an agenda. I just know that we're going to have an experience together, okay? And a good one that's going to benefit you. All right, now, take your awareness. Be, in, be behind your eyes again, listening to my voice, okay? Now, 
we're going to start going back in time, right? There's like this energy frequency. I like to call it the, you know, there's a river uh, that takes you back, like the river through time that drifts you back through time. But what we're going to do, we're not going to pass lives this time. We're just going to be going back through our lives, the river of this lifetime. And we're going to go all the way back. Let's just keep going back. Just feeling yourself falling back, back, back into this lifetime. Going further back in time. We're just going to go back to maybe when you were younger. Maybe let's go to teenage years. Let's just go back when you were a teenager. We're not landing anywhere. We're just going back in time, letting the body have its reactions, letting it have its experience. Now we're going to go back even further. We're going to go back to preteen, preteen years. Okay, just drifting back, drifting back, pulling your consciousness, pulling your awareness back through time, going all the way back to preteen. Now we're going to go back even further in this lifetime into toddler. Let's go when you were a toddler, looking through your eyes. Now you're the toddler, looking at your world, the toddler. Now let's go even further back. We're going to go back to infant to the infancy, when you're an infant, looking out through your eyes. As an infant, you have no verbal abilities, so most of you. Uh, you don't have the ability to, to speak what you want or needs. So let's just be that infant and feeling that. Now, we're gonna go right into the womb, right into the womb. You're gonna discover a few things here in the womb. We're gonna take a moment here. So as you're in the womb, what I want you to do is rest in this place of being in the womb of your mother. Now, I want you to notice how you begin to drink in and how you begin to take on your mom's energy, her emotions. You began to take on your mother's energy, her emotions, her beliefs, her fears, her phobias, her hurts, her wounding. You took it all in. And you began to believe that it's yours. Okay, now you're just going to feel into that and recognize, whoa, I did take on my mom's stuff. On some level, I am taking in my mother's energy, thinking it's me. This is something you can look at further a little later on on your own. But right now, we're going to go even further back. Now, we're going to come back further in time prior to your mother becoming impregnated with you, with the, this little energy, the, the body, the physical body that will become yours, but the soul consciousness that entered that body, now we're pulling out of that physical body of your mother. Now you're gonna go back a little bit further in time. You're just gonna to begin to feel, sense yourself in that state of awareness, knowing that you're going to in, come in and inhabit that physical form. But right now, you're just drifting back through time because now we want to go even further back. We're going to go back, back, back. We're going to go begin to find ourselves drifting into a frequency of pure light, pure consciousness. Now there is no form. There's just awareness. In this place, you have no form. You do not have your physical body. You do not have the old physical body. You are awareness, consciousness, just that state of awareness. Now, in that place of awareness, you can also be aware of other beings' awareness. It's just that sensing. It's not, not, there's nothing physical. It's not tangible. It's that sensing. It's the awareness. Now we're going to go back even further in this place, in this time. And now we're going to begin to go and enter into this frequency. It's pure, 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 brilliant, 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 light, light, light. And in this place, you're now entering. This is where you began to make your agreements for the next incarnation, for the lifetime that you're living right now. Now keep in mind, some of these agreements were made further, further back in time, many lifetimes ago. But right now, we're just going to be in this, in between your past life and this recent, current life, right here, right now. Now, we're going to go right into that energy field, into that consciousness. Now, what I want you to do is start to sense and feel the consciousness, the awareness of other souls, 
that are here with you. Now, some of these might be the people that seemingly are the ones causing you harm or the ones that might seemingly be your enemy or might seemingly be your beloveds. But right now, you're just taking your awareness, resting in this place of pure awareness, pure light, nothing but pure light, but a sensing and a knowing of, of the consciousness, no physicality whatsoever, the consciousness of other. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to start to rest in this place and all these other souls that you've made agreements with for this particular lifetime, you're going to start to discover it won't be in words. It'll be more like a knowing, a sensing. So right now, you're going to sense different, different souls that you've made agreements with. You can go ahead now, find your mother's soul and see in your father's soul. Let's do your parents and let's just get a sense of what was the agreement here? What are some of these lessons? Some of you have come into this lifetime with really intense experience with your parents or one, one or both parents. Some of you came in and have a good connection, but mostly there's going to be disruption. There's going to be something with these divine beings, these souls that you've made these agreements with. So now I've just taken a few moments because we're going to do several other, other people, other souls. But right now, just feeling your mother. Take a moment. And I want you also to be aware in this state, in this place, in this consciousness, that in this place there is a feeling a frequency of love unconditional love and it is in this place of love that you are making these agreements pure love love of the soul of your mother love of the soul of your father and the same of them loving you pure love unconditional love is actually occurring in this state in this place of pure awareness now, because of that pure love, we're willing to, to play with really intense, harsh experiences, traumatizing experiences, because we know that in the core is pure love. So right now, with your mother and your father, the souls that are that, that now in your lifetime, they're not always, have not always been that. But right now, they are your mother, father. Now, feel the bond, the connection the heart sinking, so to speak, the love frequency sinking, so there's no separation. It's just a pure frequency of pure love, unconditional love, nothing but love, nothing but love. Now, I want you to start to feel and sense now what agreements you made. What is it you want to learn here? What is it you want to experience as a soul evolving? Just take a moment and rest in this, and you'll get answers. You'll get a sense. You'll get a knowing. And I'm just going to help to activate that knowing a little bit, helping awareness to begin to come into your consciousness, understanding. There's lessons here. The soul is evolving. It needs direct experience. And it doesn't mean that you haven't tried it before many, 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 many times. But you know what? Now that we're here, let's anchor in that this time you're going to get it. This time you will get the lessons. And let me help you with that. I'm just going to open up even more willingness so that when you come back into your physical body, there is that willingness to go through the pain, the hurt, the anguish, the suffering that you have never been let your, allowed yourself to go all the way through. I'm just going to anchor that in now into your consciousness, your subconscious, into your soul frequency, in your physical body. Beautiful. Now, let's expand out. Again, let go of mom, father, dad, mom, dad. Now let's go to other people, people that you somehow feel are hurting you, causing you pain. If there's many of them, just let's just pick one or two. So whoever feels like they're causing you harm in this lifetime, hurting you in this lifetime, feel their soul essence, just like you did with mom and dad, feeling the soul essence, now, again, you're going to feel in the state, all there is, is unconditional love. This is not the place where we hold any resentments, anger, anguish, hurt, despair, hopeless, none of that. Pure awareness, pure love, unconditional love right now. Now, connect with these souls or soul. 
that seemingly is hurting you. And again, connect at that level of pure heart, pure unconditional love. Now, let's see what the lesson is. Let's see what you've agreed to. What is it that you're playing out? What is it that you want to know and unravel or understand? So that you can utilize that knowledge and wisdom in this life when you come back to your physical body. Just getting a sense of, I'm going to help to activate this as well, help to activate the understanding, the knowledge. Yeah, good. I'm going to also work on the physical body right here so that your subconscious is more able, willing to release and to know thyself in this way. Whatever the lesson is that you may get at this time. Beautiful. Good, good, good. Now, so let's get this. Yeah, just anchor, anchor this in. Understanding there's lessons here. There's growth here. But it's in a state of love, recognition that is pure love. Now, let's let go of that one. Now, a lot of people have issues with creation, issues with God. Many people think God is punishing you. God it doesn't love you. Creation is judging you in some way, punishing you, hurting you, judging you, alienating you, don't belong. All of that is subconscious, some of it's conscious. But right now, now we're going to go into that frequency of creation itself. Now we're going to let go of all the frequencies of all the soul energies of awareness of souls themselves. Now we're going to take our awareness even into a higher place of pure, purer awareness which is the creation awareness, God consciousness, pure awareness. Now we're going to enter into that place. Again, pure, brilliant light, just pure light, 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 pure light. Now you're just going to be in the state. Now we're actually literally, I'm going to ask creation to present in a way that makes you feel like you're actually tangibly connecting with that. I want the feet of God to present the feet of God. Huge, giant, massive feet of God. Now, I want you to energetically, on, a, on an awareness level, literally sensing those feet of God. And at the feet of God, looking up into the brilliant, magnificent frequency of creation, beautiful light frequency, full of love, love and light, love and light, love and light. And creation itself is just going to shine that beautiful love and light right into your consciousness into your awareness that's going to come back into your physical body but creation itself we're just going to let creation just purge energy blast you with energy of love pure unconditional love and drink it in receive it in your consciousness and your awareness pure light pure light nothing's wrong nothing bad not being rejected not being ostracized, not being judged, not being blamed, not being hurt in any way, but purely pure frequency of divine love coming into your entire energy field, into your awareness, which is going to come into your consciousness, which is going to come into your physical body. But right now, let your awareness just be filled with awareness of light love frequency. Nothing's wrong. Nothing's bad. All is well. All is in perfect divine order. Perfection. Just as you are. Perfection. Now I want creation to shine the frequency of accepting your, all your imperfections as perfection. Perfect. Just as you are. No matter what that is. Creation itself. Creation. The all that is. Love. Loving you. And all of your misperceptions of reality, misperceptions that there's something wrong with you, that you are imperfect, all of your imperfections being loved, fully loved right now, right here, no matter what that is, no matter what, physical, mental, emotional, spiritual imperfections, pure love, pure love, pure love coming into you. Now, what we're going to do, literally, we're going to begin to take the consciousness back to the body while still at the feet of God, while still knowing you're at the feet of God. 
We're going to start coming back, come falling right back into the body, coming right back into the body behind your eyes, still now really seeing, sensing the feet of God. Now with your senses, all of your senses, feeling, sensing, knowing, hearing, tasting, smelling, the feeling of creation loving you unconditionally coming in, in, into your physical body. Now you can receive that love and all your imperfections and all the ways that you have judged yourself. Creation itself right here, right now, loving every imperfection, everything you judge about yourself in this moment, in your life, love, being loved, being loved right now by creation. And now if you can, soften your body and let these frequencies, just let it go, let it go. You're being washed, purged, cleared of these imperfections of what you think is imperfect. You will always be imperfect. You can't be otherwise. There's no such thing as perfect. And yet you are perfect just exactly as you are. So again, right here, right now, feeling loved, feeling you are being purged. That creation itself is literally clearing your energy field of misperceptions of reality, that there's something wrong with you, that you're no good, that you're born in sin, that you're not wanted, that you don't belong. All of these washing away, washing away from creation itself, the love of creation itself, literally washing over you. Seeing, sensing, feeling, hearing, knowing the feet of God right before you. And that beautiful, brilliant love, unconditional love coming through your cells, your DNA, your blood, your bones, your tissues, through the organs, all your organs being loved with the love of creation itself, washing through you with the love of creation itself. Beautiful. All the organs, all of them, especially the liver, all the toxins in the liver. You have the poisons that you drank in that were your mother's, her wounding, washing through you, purging you. This isn't yours. Letting go, letting go, letting go. Creation is washing. There we go. Beautiful, beautiful. Loving you all the way. Now, the love of creation is now coming right into your heart center. God itself, the love of creation, love of God coming right into your heart center. Blasting that heart center with that feeling, frequency, beautiful, bright, light, 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 light. Moving right through the heart center. Full of love, 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 love. Unconditional love. Beautiful light frequency filling the heart center. And creation itself is going to move right through the body, hitting all the centers of love, every one of them, crown chakra, third eye, throat, obviously the heart into the third, second, first. Yep, beautiful. Activating all of these beautiful places inside. Loved. I am loved. I belong. I matter. I'm a part of life. I am part of the web of life. I am part of the all that is. I am eternal. I am eternal. I am forever. Yes, yes, yes. I love, I love, I love, I love, I am love. Drink it in, become it. Let this energy frequency just move through your physical body, activating all your cells at the molecular levels, finite levels, neurons, photons, atoms, the finite levels, every part of you, your DNA, the telomeres, beautiful, your, your neural pathways, everything is rewiring right here, right now, because right here in this moment, you are loved. You are feeling, experiencing, accessing, knowing, pure love, unconditional love, just as you are, just the way you are. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Yes, it's time for you to sing your song, to dance your dance, to let people know you, to experience the gift of you, the pure, pure, pure gift of you. It's time for you to step out into the world, into life, and in, yes, and be embraced and loved and shine your light, shine your light, shine your love, shine you, because you are the gift. You are the gift. Every one of you is the gift to give to the world. Beautiful. Now, in your own self, in your mind's eye, take in your awareness right into that heart center where you're being sh just shrouded, just love, penetrating all of your energy field. And now in that heart center, that part of you that's been hiding hiding, thinking you've been punished, thinking you've been judged, think there's something wrong with you, thinking you're going to be humiliated or shamed, thinking you got to hide, thinking, thinking, thinking. Now that part of you just start saying yes, 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 yes. I say yes. I say yes to the love of creation. I say yes to know myself as loved fully. I say yes. I'm going to come out now. I'm going to come out of hiding. 
I'm going to make that choice right here, right now, to come out of hiding. So right in that heart center, I want you just to imagine, you can see your shutters or your blinds or your doors or your, your, your latches, whatever you got. Let's start taking them down. Let's take those padlocks off. Let's take the, you know, all the, the closures off. Let's start opening, 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 opening. So we see the light of day. So we see the world right through the heart center right to that heart center. Now we're gonna step right out, step right out into the world, and look what's happening. We're shining our light, we're shining our joy, we're shining our love, and everyone is loving it. People are smiling, they're welcoming. People who we thought didn't like us are like, whoa, what a beautiful being you are. What a beautiful, delightful being you are. See how you're affecting change right here, right now. As you shine your light and your love, you're helping others to do the same. You're helping to activate others right here, right now. You are activating others to shine their light, to be their best, to be their divine self, to be their true, authentic, beautiful, loving, divine being that they really, really, and truly are. Now, let this feel really good. Just love it. Enjoy it. Take pleasure and delight in this sensation and this feeling of shining your light. And, and the reception is awesome. People are receiving you. They're loving you. They're, yes, they like you. They want to know you. Beautiful. So let this feel really good. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Heart opening. Beautiful joy in the heart. Love in the heart. This is you. You are in the good, very core of your being. You are a divine being. And you are nothing but pure love. Everything else is just wounding. Misperceptions of reality. It's not the truth of who you are. Beautiful. Now we're just going to begin to... Bring our awareness right back behind our eyes. And you can still feel the sensations in the heart center, the activations that are happening, the letting go that's happening. Just bring in your awareness now, coming right back, right here, right now, behind your eyes, consciousness behind your eyes. So you feel your awareness literally behind your eyes and feeling some lightness happening. Something feels different, something has changed, and it feels good, it feels positive. Anchoring in, yes, I accept, I am a divine being. Yes, I belong here, I'm wanted here, I'm needed here, I'm part of the all that is. I'm part of the web of life. I am co-creator in the web of life, yes. Now, taking your awareness, be right behind your eyes. Now, just letting go of all, any images, any pictures, any thoughts, anything that was presenting, and just being here, right here, right now, being in this moment, right here, right now, this moment, right now, feeling yourself here, conscious and present. And when you feel ready, go ahead and open your eyes. And just looking out to the world through your eyes right now, looking to see, hmm, I'm looking outside, I'm looking at my room, I'm looking where I am, hmm, feels more peaceful, or it feels more gentle, feels good. So beautiful. Let's just anchor that in, let that be. And just feeling the sense of connection to self, to the, all that is, and also the connection to the, to the world, to the other people, you know, to everything, to nature, to life. Everything's perfect, divine order. Nothing to worry about. And, you know, a lot of people think, am I on track? Am I on time? Should I be further along? Let me check. Oh, you know, I have this little guy that presents on the calendar. He always presents for everyone. Let me see. Oh, you're right on track, right on time. Everything is perfect. How cool is that? All right, people. So, you know, you'll be able to listen to this again, share it with your friends. You know, it's like share, share, share. Help your friends, help your beloveds. Anyone who's open, get it to them. Okay. So, um, just a reminder, people, today is on dark force interference. I'm going to be doing probably a little bit of a longer clearing today. And it, um, because this is huge, I've been, you know, like I'm getting amped up, getting ready to really geared up for this one. So people, there's some people I'm very, very aware of that are really interfered with. So I'm going to help them. But today is going to be a huge one. So if you haven't done it, get on board, jump on and get that, get that one going. People remember too, we have Q&A 
happening, or maybe we did that already. Anyway, just so you know, lots of things happening, new things happening, and I'm very excited for what's coming up on SA to help more people, um, you know, to keep evolving. All right, people. So until we meet again, and I will be, I'll read through after, like later on, uh, to see what people were saying, or if there's anything you want to mention or say anything, go ahead and do that. I'll read your responses. Um, I may or may not respond. It doesn't mean I didn't read them, okay? So today was not answering questions. Today, quantum consciousness is about is not about questions. It's about direct experience and expanding and growing and learning as a soul. All right. Okay, people, if you got any, anything else you want to put in there, go ahead and do that now because I'm going to be signing off here. But sending love to everyone. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Take a moment and just feel how much I really do love you. Even though I don't know you, maybe I haven't met you in person or maybe I haven't met you and talked to you, I, are, I know who you are. And I feel such profound love for each and every one of you. This is why I do all these free things is to help you, okay? Liberate you. Same in you, same in me, okay? We're all in this together. So let's, uh, let's keep moving forward. All right, people. Till next time.